We have previously written a function which uses LXML to extract the quote, the author name, and the category of each quote from a given HTML page. Um, the, this character in Python means that it, it is a common, so this line will be ignored. Uh, I wrote this function name here just you know for my personal reference. Now we are going to write another function which will retrieve the HTML contents of a given page. So I will call this function get page. It will take an index at the input. The index is the number at the end of the quote. Um, the address is made from two components, as you have seen previously. It's the, the base, the prefix, followed by some number. So we are going to rely on the variable which I name base. It will contain the prefix. And then the final URL will be formed by taking the base and adding the index to the base. Uh, notice that I wrote here str of index rather than just index because uh, index will be a number but base is a string so you cannot just uh, take a string and add a number to it. You have to convert the number to a string as well. Uh, the next thing I do is um, page contents. I will use URL libs URL open function to open this URL and read it. And then I return the page contents to whoever called this function. Now let's experiment. Um, temp equals get page, and let's take the very first um, quote page. It thinks for a while, it's done. Now let's look at the first 100 characters of that page. Mm -hmm -hmm. Okay, so it's a quote by Winston Churchill. Now let's do the same thing, but for the second page repeat and now we see that it's a different quote uh, basically this is proof of the fact that our function works the one which i called uh, get page uh, my next step is to write a for loop uh, which will cycle through a number of pages um, download them and then extract each quote from uh, that page. So this is how this works. I will use a for loop. I will take the first um, one to 10 quotes. Page body equals get page of i. In this case, um, I will retrieve the ith page and store its contents in the page body variable. Then I will use the function which we named get data from page. Get data from page and pass the page body to it, the one we have obtained at the previous step. And Remember that this page, uh, I mean, the, the result returned by get data from page is a dictionary. And as we have previously discussed, I want just the, the quote. So using this kind of a notation, I will access the quote part of the dictionary. And then I will add the print call here. So it will print the quote for me. Um, I also would like to see the quote number. So it's going to be like this. It's 
i comma than that and to make it a little bit more readable i would like to have two empty lines uh, between each pole so that's it backslash n is the character for a new line It is interesting that it retrieves always the same page, which is strange because when we tested it individually like this, it worked well. Perhaps we should give it some time to think. import time now we're going to run through the same loop again I'm just going to use very short names you know, to keep it fast q equals that and then I will sleep for five seconds, you know, in case the web server um, won't serve me if I have my requests coming too, too frequent. And then I will just print the whole thing. Um, no, I will print just the first 100 characters of each retrieved page okay let's see okay, this is the first quote it goes well this is the second one it goes well mm -hmm. okay so Based on this, I can say that we don't have a problem with the for loop and there is nothing wrong with the get page function. Most likely the problem is in the one which we called get data from page. Uh, unfortunately, it's very difficult for me to scroll back and see this function because it's not here anymore. So I'm going to do something else instead. Here's what I did. I took all the code which I wrote here in the interactive um, Python console and wrote it into a separate text file. It has perhaps some minor modifications, so just in case I will walk through it. Uh, in the first few lines we import the modules which we are going to be using. Base is the prefix of the URL this is the get page function which takes an index at the input we form the url by taking the base and adding the stringified index to it uh, then we use url lib to open this formed url and then we read it and then we return the page that is the result of this function then i created another function which is called get data from page which takes HTML stuff at the input, then it runs several XPath queries to extract the quote, the author, and the category from the page, and then it places these um, results into a dictionary. The dictionary is called res, results, uh, and the keys in the dictionary are quote, author, and category, and then this dictionary is returned. Finally, we have a for loop uh, which cycles through the pages uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 
retrieves each page uh, using the get page function and then it calls the get data from page it extracts all the data from it then we access the dictionary the return dictionary uh, using this key to extract just a quote just a quote and then we just print some uh, empty lines such that uh, we can see some uh, space between them and just in case let me print the quote number as well now i saved this file as winfortune.py it's in the dropbox so let's go there oh wait ah uh, Okay, let's switch directories and run the, the file. Hmm. For some reason it takes longer than I expected, perhaps I have problems with my internet okay here we go so we extracted the first four quotes uh, because this loop starts with one and goes to two three four not including five so basically this confirms that uh, these two functions work now it would be useful uh, to find out what went wrong here but given that my scroll back history won't cover uh, the sections in which I have written the code for the get data from page function, it's not going to be possible for me to, to find the answer. So there you go. What we have done so far is the following. We have created two puzzle pieces. One of them is a function which uh, retrieves a page. Uh, then we had then we had created another piece of the puzzle which is uh, the function which extracts the actual data from the page. And then we have created a loop in which these two functions are called together such that uh, we print the, the results we need on the screen. That's it for now. Uh, feel free to ask questions if you have any.